Hey, it's Lauren. Today, this video is all about a lot of new launches from Make Beauty. So without further ado, we're just gonna jump right in. I'm not gonna waste your time. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the Skin Mimetic Concealer. It's $28 and there are 20 shades of this. This is described as a medium coverage, a buildable formula that's a little bit radiant. Um, it has red algae and adenosine uh, for hydration and skin mimicking pigments. So really, this is kind of one of those things where you can use it all over your face, which is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to build up that coverage under my eyes a bit more. Um, so this is a pretty unique formula, for me at least. I normally like a fuller coverage concealer to really cut down on my redness and my under eye circles. Um, so having a medium coverage is a bit of a change for me, but I was really interested in trying this because I like make products. I've reviewed their original serum balms quite some time ago. Um, also full disclosure of what's already on my face. I did my brows. I put on a teeny tiny bit of eyeshadow just for a more cohesive look and um, a little bit of a lip liner, nothing crazy and a tinted SPF, like a mildly tinted SPF, just because that's what I use. All right, so there it is all over the face, okay? Now we're gonna go back and build up. Also, I have the shade 04 Light W, which is really a pretty good match. So I'm gonna do a little bit right here. You can also see this wand as kind of a pointed applicator with a little bit of a hollow in the center to catch a little more product. A little more here, a little more here. This is a glass component too, it's really nice, but I'm also kind of terrified that if I drop it, it's gonna shatter. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, very thin formula, easy to build up. This is really a pretty good color match for my skin. It does not cover everything. So if you like a fuller coverage normally, this would be a bit of a break from that. Um, but let me show you what I think is kind of special about this because I am someone who normally likes a fuller coverage. But let me tell you, I've been wearing this formula for the last few days, just kind of like testing it out. And even though it's not as full of a coverage as I normally like, there's something about this formula that like every time I have seen my face in the mirror, I'm like, my skin looks really nice. <laughs> like it has this kind of blurred, diffused look. It's not perfect, okay? But it's, there's something really pretty about how this formula sits on your skin. So I think even though it's different than what I normally gravitate towards, I've really liked it. And my skin just looks nice. You know what I'm saying? I also feel like this doesn't really crease a ton and it wears all day. And I think just based off of my own personal preferences for base products and things like that, I'll continue to use this kind of all over as like a foundation, but I'll probably use something a little bit heavier as like an actual concealer, but there is something just really nice going on with this like kind of glowy look, but I'm not greasy either. And it really does just mimic skin texture. So. Very pretty. If you like fuller coverage, not gonna be for you. If you like a very natural look, definitely for you. Let's move into the next product, which we're gonna talk about today, which is the Heat Stroke. This is a dewy gel cheek tint. These are $30 and there are eight shades of them. I picked up the shade Feverish, which is like this bright kind of poppy red. And let me show you why I love this formula. So when you put it on, it's like, like it's bright. This is like a very like cherry almost kind of color, you know, like a maraschino cherry. Let's just get crazy with it. I even like this a little bit on my lips. It's got this like kind of juicy texture and gives you a little bit of that pigment. It's really pretty. Um, but let me show you. This formula has just blow me away. Okay, so very bright. I'm just using the same brush as I did for my concealer. 
which will also kind of help to tone it down just because there is a little bit of product still left on there. Work that in. Look how easily that blended out, okay? It leaves your cheeks looking super just like juicy and like pretty. It's like a watercolor for your cheeks. And I absolutely love this. Like I wanna get more shades of this because I have a feeling I'm gonna blow through this tube. Blend out the edges there. I'll do a little bit up here, a little there. Just kind of drag that color. Super pretty, super flushed, very natural. I really, really like this product a lot. Next up, we have their Diffusion Set Translucent Pressed Powder. There are five shades of this and it's $32. I picked up the shade Light Medium. I didn't get their brush, I already have a powder brush, although theirs looks extremely nice. Um, so this is supposed to just control excess oil. It has like a biotech algae, helps to make your skin look more uh, smooth with time. And what I will say I like so much about this powder is it really is translucent. It's not adding a ton of like color or coverage, but it helps to just disappear into my skin. And it doesn't make your face so flat and matte. I feel like this is more of like a modern mattifying powder that still leaves a little bit of luminosity in your skin while kind of taming down some of the greasy look. I still look very glowy, but natural. Kind of, um, if you're sensing a theme here with Make, you're onto something. They kind of go with like a bumped up natural kind of look. Very, very pretty though. I really like this stuff a lot. Moving on, uh, the Continuum Waterproof Gel Pencil. This thing, guys, it's so good. It's $23, there are 12 shades. This stuff is like waterproof, budge proof. I'm just gonna say life proof. I picked up the shade Violet Abyss and it's like this beautiful kind of violety color. You can twist it up from here. It is a twist up, it's not a sharpening kind. And then they also have this little tiny brush on the edge of it. It's kind of thin and pointed and then you can do more of like a paddle shape. So I'm gonna swatch some on my hand because I do want to show you something. Okay, so Violet Abyss is like very like deep plummy type shade. And I've played around with a couple of different ways to wear this. So one of the ways that I've been wearing it is like almost like up in my waterline, like in between my lashes. Okay. And it just adds a little bit of a thickness and that color almost reflects to bring out the green in my eyes, which I really like. Oh, this is so hard to do on camera. Okay. Very subtle way to kind of amp up your lashes. Oh, my eyes are like, all right, now I'm gonna show you a thin kind of line and how to use the brush and then we'll build it up a bit more too. So I'm gonna start very close to my lash line. And the nice thing about this, you do have a little bit of time to dry down. Which means you can use that brush to drag the pigment. So it gives you the opportunity to create more of a winged kind of shape. Or additionally, you can kind of smudge it out and make it more smoky. All right, very simple kind of eye look here. Nothing too crazy. Perfect for kind of like an everyday wear. I do want to show you something. So that swatch on my hand, I'm rubbing really, really hard. <laughs> my, my skin is gonna start turning red. It does not move. <laughs> if you are someone who struggles with eyeliners moving around on you, these do not go anywhere. Like you have to use a cleansing balm, an oil, something to break it down and then wash it off they don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, 
I'm going to make this a bit more dramatic and show you how to use that brush. So you can really pump up the drama with these. This brush really is handy. It keeps you from needing multiple brushes in your makeup bag. Awesome, awesome eyeliner. I really wanna get the shade Nebula. It's a really pretty brown. I just think I would get a lot of wear out of that one. Oh, it does have a little sharpener. You just pop it off of here. I was kind of wondering about that. Okay, be right back. In between the last take and now, I added on some Tower 28 mascara, which I just did a review on if you wanna see that. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'll put a link up here. Um, and the last product we're gonna talk about are the Serum Balm Intense. They are oh, delightful. I could not choose just one or two. I ended up getting three of them. Um, these are $26 and there are 11 shades total. What makes these special is they have plumping biometric molecules from pomegranate flower. Um, so I'm going to start in order from the lightest shade working to the deepest shade. So the first shade that we're going to show here is anti-gravity, which is like a pinky peach color. And I just thought this would be great as like an everyday throw it on, go out the door. You don't even need a mirror really, but these are just so cushy and delightful to use. I'm so happy they came out with more pigmented ones. All right, anti-gravity, great for just kind of a more natural, casual kind of look. Wipe this off and show you the next one. Next, I'm gonna show you the color Shock Layer, which is this bright, bright red. You can see it just leaves your lips so emollient and conditioned. I just absolutely adore this formula. I honestly, I love these so much that the original formula, I literally did a video on how to pop out the component here to scrape the sides and get every last drop. I am obsessed with these. I love them so much. So this is Shock Layer. I mean, can you tell why they named it that? So good. Very bright. Looks great with feverish. That was kind of my thought. Um, you can obviously like soften it out. Always do that too, because that would all be all over your teeth. Super, super pretty color though. I love a glossy red lip. And as these wear down, you don't really lose that pigmentation, even though they'll kind of sink in and wear off, you're left with a wash of color. Now the last color, I really was kind of waffling between and I was like, should I get it? Should I not? And I was like, oh, it's just, it's almost fall. Just go ahead and do it. The last shade is Berry Moon, which is like this very deep, almost burgundy kind of shade. Um, it actually looks pretty great with this color eyeliner, but it is, it's intense. <laughs> so brace yourself. Very deep, almost burgundy kind of color. I'm going to show you two ways to wear this. So here is a more soft, subdued kind of way. Just put a little bit on, kind of smudge it all around. Just gorgeous color for fall, though. Now I'm going to build it up. This is one of those shades that I actually think would pair really well with the Night Moth lip liner from MAC. 
for like a really like kind of vampy look. Um, super, super pretty though. I just, I love this formula so much. I have no regrets buying three of these. I think they're fantastic. I hope that if you've been curious about these new launches from Make, that it's been helpful, whether you were curious about the product itself or having trouble deciding between shades and just wanted to see them on someone. Um, I am honestly such a big fan of Make products. I think that they're really special and they just kind of make you feel like a better version of yourself. I also love that they're kind of adding more colors and some bolder options into their makeup category. So if you're interested in shopping any of these products, I'm going to drop a link below for my shop my shelf um, and you can find all of these in there. I think that they definitely make the cut. They're beautiful. They're easy to work with. They're long wearing and just really a delight to use. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up helps other people to find this video and my channel. And if you want to see more of this type of content from me, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.